Frank, what do you do with that fundamental question about mathematics? Is it invented by minds, human minds, or is it discovered? It was always there in some platonic form or platonic heaven? The answer is both. It's both invented and discovered, but I think it's mostly discovered. I mean, mathematics is the process of taking axioms, taking a definite set of assumptions, and drawing out their consequences. So making up axioms is invention. Drawing out their consequences is, is, is discovery. Now, if you look at what mathematicians actually do, most mathematicians don't spend a lot of time making up new axioms. They spend their time drawing out the consequences of axioms that have proven to be rich and interesting and consequences. Occasionally, you have to introduce new sets of axioms, like the passage from Euclidean geometry to non-Euclidean geometry. These are epical events in mathematics, and those are, in a sense, invention. That's a good one. Is yes. that an invention? Because if, indeed, the universe may need non-Euclidean yes. geometry well, for Einstein's theory of relativity, <laughs> you know, it was there all the time. Well, inventions have to come from somewhere, so they could be inspired by natural phenomena. In the case of non-Euclidean geometry, they were somewhat. Gauss dis developed those concepts in the, in the context of surveying the Earth, and the mm -hmm. Earth is round. And, uh, but the underlying dynamic is that, uh, yeah, you can invent axioms ad lib to do anything, but most of them won't be interesting. And the ones that are interesting are discoveries. So even the inventions have some element of discovering. You discover what are interesting axioms. Uh, so the, I said originally that uh, mathematics is more discovered than invented, and that only makes it more so.